Hello and welcome to this video solution of new merit. Here it's given that a factory worker pushes a 30 kg crate uh, a distance of 4.5 meters along a 11 floor at constant velocity by pushing on it horizontally, right? So the mass of the crate is uh, 30 kgs, right? And it has moved a distance of D which is 4.5 meters along the level floor at constant velocity, right? The coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the flow is 0.25. So mu equal to, you have got 0.25, right? Now, what is the magnitude of force that must that the worker must apply, right? Since it is moving with uh, constant velocity, right? So the force that must be ap applied should be equal to the frictional force, right? So if you just consider this crate, so here we have the force F and the frictional force will be acting on the opposite direction, right? And the frictional force will be equal to mu mg, right? Or mu times the normal reaction N, which is equal to mg, right? Mu is 0.25. The mass is 30 and g is 9.8 Newton, right? So let's see how much we're getting. Seventy three point five Newton is a friction uh, is a force that is applied, right? Now B, how much work is done on the crate by this force B? So the work done will be equal to this force times the distance it covered, right? So it's seventy three point five times the distance it covered is uh, four point five meters, right? The joules, and this is equal to. 330.75 joule right how much work is done uh, on the crate by friction so work done by friction will be equal to the negative the frictional force times the distance d right so it will be simply negative of 330.75 joules now because if you see here the frictional force is acting to the left while the displacement is to the right right so it will be negative work next uh, d is how much work is done by the crate by, by the normal force the work done down by the normal force will be equal to zero and the work done by gravity will be equal to zero right because they are acting perpendicular right to the displacement And the total work done on the crate E. Uh, total work done will be equal to net force times the displacement. Now the net force is equal to zero because if you see uh, the force that is applied is balanced by the frictional force, right? So the net force is zero. So the work done will be zero in this case. I hope this is clear to you and have a very good rest of the day. Thank you.